Good day, everyone. Real quick video, because uh, I just want to put a, because I didn't have a way to really intro this. And this is maybe the messiest looking video that I've ever put out. But uh, a few weeks ago, someone from my school had the idea to, uh, Miss McCune had this idea, Miss McCune had the idea to go out and celebrate seniors, have signs made for them and deliver them to their house. And so we put together a team of people and this whole parade of cars went out and Cho went to everyone's door and knocked. And then we surprised the kids. Some of their parents knew we were coming because we wanted to make sure that the kids were there. And but for the most part, no one knew. We showed up and they walked out to, you know, a line of their teachers after having been quarantined for five weeks and knowing that graduation might not happen, or at least it might not happen in the way we've done it in the past, knowing that prom is canceled, knowing that there's no senior trip and having their year just cut so short. And these are students that we love, that we care about, that we want to celebrate, that we're excited that they were going to graduate, that they were going on to bigger things. And to not even be able to say goodbye has been such a hard thing to deal with that it's, it's literally heartbreaking. So when this idea was proposed, it was like, look, we're not really supposed to be out and we try to stay away. And for the most part, we social distance, but you know, you'll see that gets a little muddled here and there, but it was this, it was more so like for the kids, like, I'll do this because I'm just going to go home and quarantine anyway. Like I've been in the house for six weeks now. I haven't gone anywhere. It was just so fun and so life-giving that, I mean, we were, everyone was beaming by the end of it. Even the student emails were over the top. And so a couple of things that you're going to see in this are, um, one, I am not, I'm not holding my phone and talking at the same time, sitting up on something. So I just want you to know I was being safe. And any shot where I was moving, I was like literally driving the car. So sometimes I got a good shot of kids and sometimes I didn't because I was like holding the phone out of my window. And the other thing, the only thing I think you're not going to see in this video that I really wish it existed was some of the streets that we went down. So we would drive down, there's, you know, 15 cars or whatever driving down the street and neighbors who everyone's quarantined. So everyone's home are popping out of their windows, popping out of the front door going, What's going on here? What do you, what's, what's happening? Uh, with, you know, a voice of concern because we're not even supposed to be out. And now there's like, you know, 15 cars on your block. And we said, you know, we're here to celebrate the young people that are about to graduate from our school. And we're so proud of them. And we just wanted to, we just wanted to do something for them. So that led to like whole houses coming outside and people yelling out of doors. And there's one gentleman, uh, Mr. Carter, that is going to be in here and you get a real quick view of his neighbors, like, hold your sign up, man. Like he was so excited for him that it just was, it was great. I'll shut up now, show you the video and uh, enjoy, enjoy some of this excitement. I hope that it comes through. Uh, thanks. We are currently, there is a ton of us in this line that you can't see that are celebrating seniors today. And we're doing that by driving around to their houses with mate, with signs that have been made with their name on it and celebrating the fact that they're graduating from our school since we don't have another way to celebrate them this year. And so right now we are in this train that is led by Cho, who's not the best driver I've seen and is a little harrowing to follow her. What's up? Go ahead. You cut in. problem has become what do you do when someone lives in a no outlet street and about four or five cars already went down this block and now we're all blocking traffic so sorry Philadelphia you know it's, it's for the kids uh, I'm gonna direct traffic outlet no problem Reynolds is on it
I asked everyone to help me out by taking videos and these are the texts that I get back. Because it is a lot to drive, to beep, to wave your balloon, and to record and take pictures at the same time. I mean, and not die. You're right, Yank. You're right. I'm gonna stop by a car wash on the way home, get Dorian a car wash, because this thing is, uh, needs it, man. Look like you're running for office. Justin, you're in the shower. We're all waiting out here for you. You're taking a shower inside. Bathe at night or something. What up, bro? What's up, buddy? Good job, man. Next one's a special one. We're coming for you, Kev. My boy, DJ Dirty Kev. Kev's been all over the world from me. He's on the cover of the book. Real excited about this one, man. Oh, God. We love you, Kev. My guy wanted a hug. I couldn't help myself. What a great idea that they had. This isn't even me. That was a good one. I like when the parents are just crazy excited and screaming outside and all the neighbors are wondering what in the world is happening. It's so crazy to drive around the city and like everything's closed. Like, er like people are not out on the street so much. Like every business is closed. And you're just like out here doing this, like spreading joy to kids. And damn, what a what a feeling. Next house has to be hilarious. This is my guy Muppet, and he is always a character. He's been in tons of videos. He's a great dude. Let's see this one. Oh, my man's got two different socks on right now. Good job, Stamp. Day two of being out here uh, celebrating students, and today, the not-so-secret wife's with me. Kids didn't want to come out. It's raining out today, so that should be interesting. And because the wife's here, we have some special additions to our celebration, like... Confetti. How much confetti do we have? A lot. A whole glove compartment full. Look. I'd like to apologize in advance to any parents who have to clean up wet and soggy graffiti in front of their house, but know that it was thrown with love. We also have some other weird stuff like sparklers and signs and stuff like that. So we are ahead of everyone. So we're like all the way up in Northeast Philly waiting for the rest of the, of the crew to kind of come passing by. So we're just chilling here together in love. Okay. I, I thought I thought we were in love. I mean, we are in love, but you're just so corny. Everybody likes corn. <laughs> <laughs>
Carter! So that was the day. It was two days. The first day they did uh, nine hours, I think they drove for, uh, or seven hours. I was only there for the first four. And then the second day we went out in the rain. I had to go catch up with everyone. And that's when uh, the Not So Secret Wife came with me. And we went out and celebrated kids in the rain. And that was, it was like nothing could stop it. It was, it was too fun. It was too exciting. If you're thinking about, again, doing this with your own students, with your own school, I cannot emphasize enough how great of an idea this is. We just don't know how students are suffering at home. That when you call them even, they might just be putting on a front or, or pretending that they're, they're feeling a certain way. But it is seeing kids and then getting the emails where they're like, I literally have been depressed for five weeks. I've literally been going through the worst stuff. And to be surprised by joy, as C.S. Lewis says, is something that was not only life-giving to the kids, I mean, Teachers were, thrilled. that was the best thing I did in five weeks. And that's with my book coming out. Like it was the best thing I've done in five weeks. It was so exciting. That's it for now. Um, hopefully I have some more videos coming out soon. You know, it was the, the book was, was a lot. And then distance learning takes up, you know, infinite numbers of hours every day as the rest of you know. So I'm, I'll try and work towards getting some YouTube videos out. If you want, you can still follow us along on Facebook and the community is also on Instagram and our Facebook group, Real Rap with Reynolds, Teacher Talk on Facebook uh, and on Twitter as well. So that's it, everybody. I hope that uh, you're making the most of this and that this brightened your day a little bit. Peace.